what's up youtube um in this video i'm gonna take you on a tour in new york city i went on a solo trip uh and it was the best trip uh that i've done in a very long time i had a lot of fun i had some great pizza uh seen a lot of architecture i was actually blown away from what i seen in new york it actually inspired me um to be very creative and uh yeah it was just an exciting trip and uh, i want to show you guys what i did um so here come along let's go so this is me coming into uh new york via bus um i just wanted the experience this is the first glimpse into the uh skyscrapers downtown by the bus terminal port authority I took the bus for the experience and it was not too bad. Also wanted to do a separate video on the bus ride as well. So that's why I chose to take the bus. And if you're traveling on a budget, it's uh, actually a good way to save some money. So this is the first um, excursion that I did. Uh, costed me absolutely no dollars whatsoever. Uh, which is amazing. Uh, I'm a big fan of Nikolai Tesla. So I had this had to be the first place that I had to step into just to be in the presence of uh, a place where Mr. Nikolai Tesla lived. And let me tell you, I was blown away. Uh, it, I was in Oz for at least an hour just standing around in this uh, little museum. It's uh, located in the basement of the New Yorker Hotel um, and it costs you nothing to see. Um, so uh, it's a great uh, way to start if you're coming in on the bus, have a free uh, little excursion there. So these are some of his belongings, uh, not all of it. I think that's like a tea set or an espresso cup set and some postcards, uh, a lot of pictures, letters and whatnot are uh, is what you get to look at and if you have a bit of money you could actually stay in his suite uh which i will do the next time i come to new york but uh yeah uh mr nikolai tesla passed away actually uh nearby this hotel he was in an accident um and uh that's where he passed away at the age of 86 i believe uh, but yeah, no, he lived uh, most of his New York life in this hotel, so it, it was the best start to my trip. Then I slowly started making my way over to Grand Central Station um, for my second excur excursion or sightseeing. But before that, I did stop for a croissant and a cappuccino. <laughs> uh, it's not a roots bagel or whatever bagel but still came up to $14 with a cappuccino after the croissant I continued walking towards the Grand Central Station and oh my god let me tell you these views are breathtaking and here we are at the Grand Central Station I slowed it down for you to enjoy the view and let me tell you, when you're there, it is breathtaking. Just uh, uh, the energy of this place. Uh, and obviously, obviously, there's a lot of traffic here. So um, the energy of the people as well. So um, you got to be, uh, it's tough to take photos here because there's a lot of traffic, but you could make it happen. Grand Central Station, also known as Grand Central Terminal. It's more than just a transportation hub. It's a hub of history, beauty, and activity. This majestic box art style building constructed in 1913 stands as a testament to city's rich architectural heritage. Step inside and you'll be greeted by the grandeur of the main concourse. Look up and admire the astronomical ceiling, uh, beautifully adored with constellation. It's like looking up at the night sky in the heart of the city. Did you know that Grand Central Station is one of the busiest train stations in the world? Every day, thousands of people pass through its doors, heading to its destinations near and far. And it 
and it's not just trains, there's also shops, restaurants, even a market for you to explore. Keep an eye out for the famous four-faced clock in the center of the main concourse. It's popular meeting point for friends and loved ones, adding an extra touch to nostalgia to this already timeless place. Grand Central Station isn't just for commuters, it's also a cultural hub. You can also catch a performance at the Vanderbilt Hall or enjoy the vibrant art installations that are often on display throughout the building. And there, here's a poor tip, for a unique experience, take a whispering gallery tour. You can stand in the opposite corners of the Grand Central Terminal and whisper secrets to one another as the acoustics carry your voice across the room. It's, it's a magical and often, often surprising interaction. You can see Grand Central Station is not only a transportation hub, but a timeless symbol of New York City itself. So whether you are catching a train, exploring art, or simply uh, people watching, this iconic landmark is a must-visit destination, and that's why I came here. <laughs> I hope this brief glimpse into the world of the Grand Central Station has inspired you to the to come and see it for yourself. But let's move on. So from Grand Central Station, I took the 6 train up north to the Bronx where my hotel was. And I did not feel unsafe uh, being in the subway. I felt just like I was in Toronto, except uh, over here, people seem to mind their own business. And... Uh, and was occupied with the cell phones. So now I finally checked into my hotel, uh, which actually was uh, pretty clean and uh, the staff was really nice and I have no bad experience to uh, talk about, about the hotel. Uh, it ran me about a, a thousand dollars Canadian for three days, but uh, it was worth it. It was day one, we're still going. Just finally got to Brooklyn. We're gonna check out the number one pizza spot in New York, Juliana's. There she is. 12 hour bus ride for this. Let's see if it's worth it. Cheers. You see it? Oh man. Just want to appreciate it. It just looks too fucking good. So, uh, number one pizza spot in Brooklyn or in New York. Check. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, you feel pretty good after eating it. So, I give it a 4.1. I just wanted to appreciate this view. It was just gorgeous. Uh, I was just uh, standing around here for maybe about half hour because, you know, it's uh, just beautiful city views and like it's all lit up. It's just great. Um, I heard great things about this place, but no room tonight, so I got to do it another day. This is still day one, and uh, I made it to Times Square. And uh, uh, you never know who you might run into in this place. And obviously the whole time I was holding my pockets because I was a little bit paranoid because you see some strange looking characters and you do <laughs> get a lot of warnings prior to coming here. Uh, no bad experiences somebody did try to grab my hand and i just didn't let them and i kept walking i didn't even look back um yeah and i ran into uh mr canson i believe brian canston from breaking bad and this was uh, around 9 30 10 p.m and i was uh 
pretty much done for the day and I had I was planning an early start the next day so I decided to uh, make my way home Google was messing around so my ride took an extra hour to get back to the hotel and we were ready to go at it again so this is me walking through the Bronx uh, trying to get a bagel at some bagel shop and I ran into NYPD so would you guys agree that Toronto police is in the world? No. Are you videotaping that? Yeah. yeah. No. No? no? Never. Never? Never. In the 90s, yes, right? I was even born. 91, 92, 93 years old. And I want to be the best in the world. I mean, it's probably the biggest. It's the best. The biggest and the best. Yeah? That's why you well, okay, what do you got? Evil, evil, evil. So you, you do know about Toronto then? <laughs> but yeah, no, I do know what you guys, uh, what happened in the '90s, and how you guys brought back the city, right? So. And we'll still keep going there. Huh? And we'll still keep it the same. <laughs> I know, but somebody was telling me it's back to the old days. Is that accurate? Or? I don't know the old days. I wasn't born here. Oh, okay. And I wasn't born. I was born in one, so I was still a baby. I don't know the old days. Okay, okay. Um, are you guys hiring a lot of people right now, or is there the We're free? Yeah. NYPD was pretty cool. Uh, they offered me a ride to the Yankee Stadium, but I was not ready to go there yet. So they were pretty awesome. This actually is an intersection out in Harlem, you know, uh, just like any other city, I believe. People just going on about their day. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. So this is just a subway entrance in the Harlem. Uh, as you can see, it's not that crazy, busy. Uh, it's just a Thursday morning. I just love Harlem, so I thought I'd show you another intersection while I'm at it. Um, yeah, then we'll move on to Yankee Stadium. On our way to the Yankee Stadium, we walk through Harlem. And this is what we see. So here we are, the most iconic baseball stadium in the world, the Yankee Stadium. Uh, it, it does look a bit like Roman architect. I did get the feeling of a Colosseum. Um, it's the same purpose, you know, it uh, serves to uh, see... Uh, events so it's the same purpose as a coliseum i guess it's just in new york <laughs> okay anyways enough with the mumbling but here we are uh came here went into the yankee store and told them that they're racist because they didn't have any blue jay gear they laughed <laughs> yeah so as long as people laughed at my jokes i was pretty good um but what's gonna happen next might be the main event of this video so i was walking around the rockefeller center and i was doing uh pictures of the biggest church of new york and this is what happened i'm good i just thought of something really funny if you don't want to do it no problem say no i'm walking on the street in new york with a friend of mine and there's a random guy like i don't know a tourist with like a selfie stick wearing a bautista jersey standing in front of a church like the biggest church in New York. And I, didn't, I haven't talked to him yet, but I want to, if you can, put you on FaceTime and just hand the phone to the guy and just watch him freak out because he's standing in front of a church. I think it'd be the funniest thing. What's happening? How are you? Well, I gotta get this. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh man, what a trip. <laughs> what I are you figured, doing these I days? I think you're staying in front of a church. Maybe it would work out for you, you know? Isn't that crazy? What are the chances? Um, but that's what happens in New York. Things could just change for the better in the matter of days. And of course, I went inside the church and I said some prayers to the creator saying that I'm very grateful for what just has happened. But those uh, guys are pretty cool for doing that as well. It made me a moment that I'll never forget. 
So here I am strolling through the Diamond District looking for Max from Trax NYC. He is pretty popular in the social media world. He's been giving away gold. But unfortunately, Max wasn't at the store because he is too busy. All right. Uh, due to a power outage, I was not able to make it to the Tora. So I'm trying an Italian with a little bit of an Asian fusion tonight in Hell's Kitchen. So let's see how it goes. I was pretty hungry, so took a bite before this video, um, and it's pretty amazing. So afterwards, I walked through Hell's Kitchen, and I grabbed the dollar fifty slice at Winnie's, which I did not enjoy. So I do not recommend the dollar fifty slices. And I walked over to Times Square to finish off the night, and I just went back to the hotel and got an early start the next day so down to my final day and I gotta try to top yesterday's adventure it was crazy wearing a Batista jersey down Manhattan and running into one of his friends who FaceTimed him for me what a what a incredible experience that was so today I try to hit the metropolitan uh, Art Gallery, check out Wall Street. Just gonna walk to the... I don't think I gave a look into the Bronx. A heavy police presence. Uh, the police actually thinks this is the roughest neighborhood in New York. <laughs> Um, I guess they haven't seen uh, Toronto. Honestly, uh, I feel the people are very nice here. Nobody has bothered me. So that's the entrance into the subway. That's the stop's name. So here I am, made it down to Battery Island. And this is the location where you uh, board a ferry to go to uh, see the Statue of Liberty. I'm, and I'm not a big fan of that excursion so I won't be partaking plus I will show you how big the lineup is this is the sticker that was on the washboat zombie mode looking for the charging pole and I walked right past it I didn't really line up to touch the bowl because I hate lineups but I got a selfie and I bought an actual bowl from a street vendor so I taught, walked into the Trinity Church. It's also an old church. I said a prayer here, lit a candle for safe journeys. This is security clearance for a church. That's how crazy it is in New York. So here's the outside view of the church. That's it. it breathtaking this church was constructed in 1926 and it has this creature 
swallowing maybe metal, I don't know. It just looks different. Oh yeah, and there's dragons. Interesting. Museum district. So it costed me around $30 to get into Metropolitan Museum of the Arts, but it was well worth it because I don't think I'll be going to Egypt anytime soon. And this is the famous temple that's in a lot of movies. And I was uh, in this area for about an hour because it was just a great feeling. I don't know the energy about this temple was just amazing and I felt really, um, I don't know, lost in time uh, for a moment there, but just this uh, exhibit alone was worth the $30 for me because uh, I always wanted to see this part, but I did get lost in there. It took, uh, I was in there for about eight hours and I might have seen 60% of the stuff so if you are an art junkie or a history junkie this might be the place for you to get lost and wear comfortable shoes and possibly uh, bring some snacks because uh, the food in here is pretty expensive it costed me twenty dollars canadian for a slice of pizza at the cafeteria <laughs> So this was the scene uh, on the subway heading to Brooklyn where I was going to get a slice of pizza. The best slice of pizza New York had to offer. Apparently the best slice in New York. So this slice is actually all the bells and whistles. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I had three slices and it's just amazing. So the next morning I got up at like 7 a.m. and tried to make the most of it as my flight was uh, for five o'clock that, e uh, that evening. So I made it my way into Central Park and um, by fluke i actually had no idea or i did not know anything about the famous owl flaco but i ran into this uh wildlife photographer who told me about flaco and i actually spotted him thanks to this uh wildlife photographer and that was uh the greatest finish that i could have asked for in this trip because i am a uh animal lover so to see uh flaco the owl that was you know pretty much in in lockup for 16 years and he broke free um and to still be in central park hanging out with people it was just very touching for me and i spent like an hour with this owl uh he was so cool he was just hanging out, making funny faces and whatnot. I really enjoyed that moment. Stay safe, Flaco. Until next time I come to Central Park. All right, buddy? Be safe. Just a walk through in East Harlem.
So I got this grilled cheese sandwich from uh, East Harlem. It has three cheeses in it. Gouda, uh, something, Jack, I forgot the last one. But let me tell you, it's really good. And I recommend this place. It was clean, the guys are cool. Uh, and it only costed $2.50, man. Come on, no. The final stroll in the Bronx. My new home. Totally random, a pizza joint in the Bronx. Uh, let's check it out. So I grabbed the chicken Caesar slice, uh, something that I'm not used to. Um, just a random slice. You gotta, you know, give uh, a new things a try. So I went. I went with the chicken Caesar for my final lunch and it was spectacular. And uh, I also got to see uh, some spray painting right before I got on the bus to the airport, uh, which was pretty cool also, you know, because the Bronx is the home of graffiti, I believe. Like graffiti started back in the day, back in the Bronx, you know. Uh, the birthplace of hip-hop so to see that as I was boarding my bus to the airport was uh, a nice finish touch to my visit to the Bronx New York anyways um, thanks for watching and if you made it this far you obviously enjoyed my video so please hit the like button and uh, and also subscribe because